So, there is peace in the South between the UFLL and the APR. But Voorhees finds it more profitable for me and mercenaries like himself when there's fighting. So we're going to break the peace. Once again, fucked up, but hey, it pays. Okay, let's get some health if we can. Never mind, we have plenty of health. Try me again, you fucking tosser. I'm begging you. Alright, so there are diamonds in here, in this area, and they're in the church bell tower. So here's the bell tower, here's the back of the church, uh, just bust that in, and do some climbing. And the diamonds are right up top. And one diamond. Kind of stupid. All that climbing for one diamond, but hey, whatever. And, uh, as long as you're on an easy enough difficulty, uh, you can, you should be able to jump there, down there without much, much pain. And, uh, we need to go all the way to Port Saleo, or actually the island near Port Saleo to get to the barge and uh, wait uh, as you can see there's a nice peaceful river all the way there so let's find a boat it is proven to be the fastest way of traveling there unless you want to go back up to uh, the bus station and take the bus to Port Saleo but you know I've always done the boat, so I'm not going to uh, change it up now. Alright. Let's get this map out. Because I can actually see. Alright. And uh, this will be quite a ride. I'd say it'll be a good 2-3 minutes before we're actually there in real time. Here, uh, I'll try and quench my thirst and soothe my sore throat with some water, some Nestle Pure Life water. I think water is the only thing I can really drink right now. Because my tea, the normal thing that I have, that uh, Lipton Diet tea with citrus, uh, it tastes good, but it is not very good for a sore throat at all. It's, for some reason, it just really dries out my throat. I do not know why. And, uh, traveling around in the southern map may be a little bit more hazardous than you think because now there is a new type of mounted gun. Uh, right now on my boat I have the M249 saw. It, back at the, uh, Laboa Seco world. And there's some diamonds right up there. We'll get them later. Just not now. Back in the Laboa Seco map, uh, you saw the uh, M2 heavy machine gun. Well, there's something better than the M2 heavy machine gun, and it's pretty lethal. But what could be more lethal than a heavy machine gun? Well, how about a grenade launcher? Yes, now there are grenade launching boats and grenade launching assault trucks. And if you are in a vehicle and they shoot you, you are f pretty fucked. Just need to admit that you're pretty screwed. But uh, they're not the most—they're not the most common 
uh, resistance that you'll find on the road or the water. So uh, they're pretty rare. They're about three or four. Uh, there are about three or four enemy vehicles in this in this game that will uh, have a grenade launcher on their vehicle. And I'll teach you where they are so that you can avoid them slash go to and commandeer them if you want. But if you do all the buddy missions for uh, the Boa Seco map, then uh, you'll actually get the you'll get the uh, ability to have all these vehicles with grenade launchers w whenever you go to one of your safe house. And that's some pretty good incentive right there. Alright, so here's the boat. Here's all the arms and stuff. And actually, here's a grenade launcher right now. Don't worry, we'll get to using that later. So, we need to go up to the captain's spot. And uh, actually, we're going to replace my rocket launcher with the Carl G rocket launcher. I said before I didn't really like this rocket launcher because it spits fire out the back. But really, it's a boat. There's really nothing to catch fire on behind you. Unlike grass. that That's pretty, not, pretty much not good. But what this rocket launcher has that the other one doesn't is this you can guide the rocket with this rocket launcher and uh, that'll be very good for when we're dealing with boats that are moving so let's go talk to our captain and our new best buddy I don't know who let's find out good. I'm Andre Ippolit I'll be your captain tonight right. you know what we are carrying the lieutenant and his crazy ideas huh? when our cargo reaches Port Salau things are going to get very bad very quickly can I suggest you go and find Dr. Obu at the clinic? Warn him he's going to have a busy night. Thankless work being a doctor in this country. I plan to leave once delivery is complete. I'll go over to the other side of Lake Sogolo. Lay low. You will too if you know what's good for you. But first we have to make this delivery. You go out on deck. Keep a watch out for anybody who takes an interest in our small vessel. Yeah, because this is small, alright. Alright, and as soon as you leave, the boat will start moving. All right, so here we go. Now, there are a couple of high priority targets that you're going to want to deal with before things get really hectic. And one is a rocket launcher guy and another is a mortar guy. And then you can deal with the rest of these guys that just shoot small arms at you, but they they won't hurt. Guys like this though, way over there. They'll hurt. Alright. So that rocket launcher guy was way over there. And now if you look at the port and then you look just south you should be able to see the mortar guy right there and now you have uh, swamp bows that are shooting at you so get out your rocket launcher and blow them away oh and the fuckers blew up my ammo that's not cool alright but uh, first things first is always get that rocket launcher guy and the mortar guy. And then you should be okay. Because then you can deal with these guys. Fairly whoa. I damaged my own boat with my own rocket. Oh, sad. Did I mention that this is fairly destroyed? This rocket launcher? Another one. And I guess this boat takes extra splash damage. I don't remember this barge taking so much damage, but just keep fixing it so that you can just keep on moving. And if you need more stuff, like explosives and whatever, they're right down here. Boom. 
Alright, this splash damage is getting kinda old now. 